effort. Uh, we, we've practiced really well, really well. Matchups hard to simulate, um, and like a single wing in football or you know something that you don't see a lot. It's very hard to practice against. I've played them any number of times, and um, I've never had uh, those uh, those difficulties. But I uh, I shoulder uh, all of the blame. Uh, they uh, my team wanted to uh, do the right things. I just couldn't get them in. The, well, we found some th things in the second half, um, but. Um, you know, uh, just a, a bit of a struggle, but uh, never been a part of a bad win, guys. I'll take that and move on Move on down the line. Look for Santa Claus here in a couple of days. Mike, they held all five of your starters under the season average. Yeah. And you win getting all that from the bench. Yeah. It's not ideal, maybe, but how happy are you to see that production? Very, very. Uh, Isaiah Wilkins, Mike, was, uh, was terrific. Uh, Hunter Couture had his best game. Uh, both those kids have played well for us, but um, – you know, Jalen Cohn, that lineup, uh, John may have been a part of that lineup. Brandon Johnson was in there a little bit, helped us. Uh, the ball moved a little bit better. We found, um, you know, we found some things that, uh, that, that we hadn't. I think we went to the first media timeout without a basket. Boy, that was a, a rock fight, 2-0, maybe 3-0. Um, certainly not a scoring uh, outburst from that uh, point forward. But, you know, those guys uh, helped us uh, immensely and, you know, that's what good teams do. Uh, you know, we had a couple that didn't have their best uh, outing. Well, Bisa didn't play his best tonight, um, not defensively or offensively. I thought Jalen Cohn, uh, you know, uh, helped him in that regard, and certainly Landers didn't have his uh, best night. Isaiah Wilkins was, uh, was really, really good. So good teams, you know, have other people, uh, you know, help, uh, help uh, win, and uh, certainly, uh, you know, we saw that tonight. I, I don't really I don't know that I really care. Uh, you know, uh, Isaiah's got a, a great role, <clears throat> a great role here, a meaningful uh, role here. Um, you know, uh, that's uh, that's that's where we are. You know, uh, you know, and, and still, you know, what are we what are we twelve games into it? Um, we're still mixing and matching a little bit. He's a three, um, but um, you know, the matchup is so different. You know, for opposing teams with him at the four and his ability to to, uh, to shoot and uh, you know pass, he's a good passer. He's a good rebounder. So um, you know where he is right now and his role is what gives our team the best opportunity to win. Last time I checked, that's the only thing I really care about. You got an eight-day break coming up here. You won't have another break like that for the rest of the season. Yeah. I still, Norm, I still think across the board, offensively, um, you know, all areas. I thought we were pretty good defensively. I was surprised they shot 41, uh, but we had 10 more shots than they did. But, yeah, it's got to be a constant. Um, you know, you look at our numbers and the games that we've lost, BYU, Dayton, Duke, compared to the numbers that, uh, that, that we've uh, won. Um, I thought we were very responsible tonight. We're bigger and stronger, obviously. That's not always going to be the case in uh, in league play, but um, you know, uh, in all facets. But certainly the the defensive end. Uh, yes, to answer your question. Yeah, I, we've got to continue to get better there and more responsible and uh, rebound the ball a little bit better. But do you think your defense did certainly help force some force some turnovers? Well, they've turned the thing. Up. Yeah, I did. I did. I, I certainly thought our uh, our defense went a long way in uh, in creating some of that. Very responsible where we're supposed to be. I, I told you after the the running together, Mark, our last game. Sometimes if you're where you're supposed to be and you sit there, um, you know, uh, do your job. You know, sometimes that thing will come uh, come right to you. And we saw a number of those uh, you know occurrences tonight. Golly day, I didn't give him any problems. Gave their head coach some problems. I didn't put him in very good spots. Again, I thought we found some things. Um, I thought we found some things in the second half that uh, that uh, that helped us. Um, you know, I not be, not going to be the last time we see it. A little three quarter court pressure. We're coming to the front court twenty three. 
Uh, we get uh, you know set uh, to to run something now at 19. Uh, that's a bad pace, and that's you know I need to do a better uh, better job with that. But you know he's run it forever, and they you know they they did a nice job with it. And we couldn't we couldn't move them the way my teams have typically uh, moved them, and I'll be interested to go back and look at it on tape, see what uh, see what I messed up. I was concerned. I was concerned. He's guarding 15. Uh, we go till we're blue in the face on what, you know, what, you know, his number in his game, who you're guarding. Um, kid uh, has not made a three on the year, but he is a dynamic athlete and a 15 foot pull up jump shot maker. And uh, we allow him twice in the second half to, you know, stop right in front of us and, you know, get up over top of us from 15 and make a shot. Well, yeah, not good enough. He didn't have a very good game, but um, you know he contributed in some uh, some other areas, and uh, he was uh, he was a good teammate. Isaiah Wilkins had a good night. Again, that's what good teams do, and I'm very proud of that. Feel good about that. And what have you seen development wise from Jalen Cohen? And he seems to be pretty good with the basketball. He is. He is. Um, uh, Mike. Um, he's he's uh, much more of a two guard right now at five foot eight. You know, we're 12 games in, and he has five assists. Unless he had one today, he didn't have one at the uh, at the half. Um, and you know, um, well, Bisa beatie has been marvelous. I mean, he's been nothing short of uh, uh, you know, he's been terrific in uh, in every game that uh, that we played. He, he wasn't great today, but we still I, I can't I can't uh, imagine doing it or winning with uh, without him. Uh, but you know, Jalen, and um, you know he's so dynamic with uh, with the ball. Um, he's helping our team. Just um, again, you know, mixing and matching, and it's going to evolve, continue to evolve as we uh, you know go into league play. I just know it until we can get. You know, it might be February, late February, before I find. You know exactly what uh, what I'm looking for, but we'll continue to play nine. I think we played ten tonight. Brandon Johnson played in his first half and and helped us. So um, you know we're um, we're trying to find it. We're trying to find it. Can you play those two guys together? Yes, we can. We can. Um, but you know, again, it's kind of like grinding those gears, Naheem. Uh, and Hunter have been so good back there. Boots, I can't take him off the floor. I can, and I did that a little bit against someone the game that Hunter was out of the game. Um, but, um, you know, that's easier said than done because of responsibilities both offensively and defensively. Jalen Cohn is a really a smart basketball player, but the timing and the, uh, the, the, the stuff that goes into it um, – not quite as comfortable with him yet. We're playing him off the ball a little bit in practice, so certainly something we could see uh, moving forward. Okay? Uh, happy holidays, everybody. Wish you well. Safe travels.